Okay, let's try this again. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, it's gonna be a real quick, simple pour. I'm gonna do another attempt on my marble rose. So, I need a pour cup. These paints are, uh, they're actually a little too thick maybe, but they're Craft Smart from Michaels. Uh, they don't do well with the, um, with the silicone. So this one is going to be a pour with no silicone, three colors, and a creamy white, which is actually Artist Loft High Flow Acrylic mixed with the Unbleached Titanium Artist Loft. The other three colors are, this one is actually a mix of Craft Smart and Apple Barrel, two different pinks, plus one of the oranges from Apple Barrel. So it's just kind of my own color. This one is another mixture of one of the Craft Smart blues with um, two other grays from Apple Barrel and Apple Barrel and Craft Smart. And then this one is just a pretty green from Craft Smart. So we're going to start with the I'm going to start with only the white. I'm going to start with the white. Get a good bit in there. That's actually the last of it. And then I really have no idea how I did the order on that one. I wish I did because it turned out pretty cool. So we'll do maybe the blue next. And you really don't want to mix these colors too much, but that's really mixing. Blue next. Then we'll do the green. green. Green is really thick, so I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. I wish I remembered what order I did that one in. And then the pink. Lots of pink. And maybe another hint of the blue on top of that. Probably a mistake, but we shall see. And then I really am going to need more of this cream color. top there. There we go. All right. And I kind of want to do more pink, but <laughs> or maybe a little more green. Probably should have just done. All right, that should be enough paint to cover, I think, this whole canvas, but I'm not sure. So we're going to add some more pink to it because that's just fun. Okay. I'm going to put a little notch in it, a little crumple, so it'll pour a little faster, about two inches from the top, from the canvas. And you've got to keep your circles nice and tight and don't wander all over the canvas. I tend to wander all over the canvas. And I think I'm going to just use all of this color and then just spin it but good. I'm going to put some more pink in there because that's way too much white. Let's do that again. There we go. That's kind of cool there. I did. I started off in the center of the canvas, I think, and I wandered north of the canvas. Okay, and then we're just going to let it sit and pour out because that kind of makes kind of makes it the pattern the same way. Okay. Oh, that'll probably pour off anyway. So let's get to twirling. There are cells coming up, but that's not due to silicone. There's no silicone in the paint. It's just due to the weight of the paint. I'm going to go off the sides because I didn't put any wet paint on these. So I'm really trying to stretch this out as far as I can get it. Because I like the pattern it makes when it stretches those bands apart. I know you can't see it, I'm sorry. Okay. It's a little off balanced here, so it needs like a little bit of that pink. Just drag it off that corner. There we go. See that? You can't even tell. 
it's doing that. And that corner over there needs a little bit of dragging too. There we go. See? Can't even really tell. Is it that corner there? Can't see. The green didn't really come out like I wanted it to. But we're going to stretch it this way big time. I really don't want, I'm going to drop it. I hope I'm not going to drop it. Well, it's definitely not my marble rose, but it's still kind of cool. Stretch it back this way a little bit. Yeah, kind of liking it. Let's pull it back a little bit more. I don't know. It's too centered to me. I really like what's going on here, but not that so much. It's too thick. Oh, I got another corner I missed here. So let's get that while I'm seeing it. Is that one? Yep, there we go. Okay. I don't want to, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I really love this. I'm afraid it, like that's kind of what it would look like if I poured that off. So I kind of need that, I think, for a little bit more balance. <laughs> what do you think, Ella? I like it. Okay. I think we're going to leave it. I think we're going to leave it like that. I like it just the way it is. Okay, well, let's scrape the paint off the bottom, all the dripping paint. And we're going to leave it because it, it's pretty. I like it. Okay. We probably should flame it just to make sure we don't have any uh, air bubbles that are going to come up. And my poor torch, I think, has pretty much had it. Takes me forever to get it lit. Well, this is not the marble rose that I had hoped for, but still a pretty cool painting. I like it. See all the other air bubbles are popping. Nice tiny little dots. Okay, I think that does it for the air bubbles. And there we go. That looks kind of cool. Kind of like the color patterns. It's pretty. So, I'm going to wipe my hands off. I'm going to get y'all down so you can see some of this detail right here because that's just pretty. So, okay, that is super cool right there. You can kind of see how the green and the blue and the pink all kind of mix together. They're not real defined, but look at that blue edge with the white. It's subtle. I like all the, I love the white veins. That's really what I was going for. I just wanted more of them. I think maybe I had too much paint on there. I didn't push it hard enough. But I do like this technique. It's fun. It makes some pretty patterns, so I'm probably going to do another one of these maybe later in the week with some other colors. I actually kind of like not using the silicone. Not all the time, but sometimes. Look at that. That's pretty. I'm sorry for the glare. And that white is, that creamy white is not, it's coming up too pink. It's not actually that pink. Look, see, you even get pretty cells even without silicone, so. Just got to pick the right paints to go together. Okay. So, not wanting to focus. There we go. There is the finished piece. Looking pretty cool. Okay. Everybody out there, thank you to all my sponsors. Thanks for everybody watching. Y'all have an awesome afternoon. See you later. Bye.